Obviously, the Warriors finishing with the worst record in the NBA. We know that's due to injury. They have the second overall pick. They take James Wiseman out of Memphis. Max, all things considered, including what Jay just said, Clay's latest injury, was this the right choice? No, it was the wrong choice. Definitively the wrong choice. And look, Stephen A., I hear what you're saying. And by the way, Steve Kerr doesn't have to run a system. Steve Kerr, if he's a great coach, and I believe he is, will be able to adapt, and maybe he can, he can, they can have a completely different style offense that fits the, you know, not try to fit a round peg in a square hole, but now, you know, have another kind of offense. They have a lot of athletes. They can do a lot of things, right? I'm not talking about that, guys. I'm not saying Wiseman won't be a very good player, at least a DeAndre Jordan type. If that's his floor, and that's what I'm hearing scouts think his floor is DeAndre Jordan, that's a hell of a player. If that's his, if, if, you ain't going to be any worse than that, a hell of a player, right? But... There is a requisite amount of shooting you need in the modern NBA from distance. See, I'm not saying they can't play another style. I'm saying let's look at the lineup they're going to run out there. Steph's the greatest shooter ever, right? Mm -hmm. Who else can shoot at all? Wiggins is a bad shooter. He'll shoot a lot of threes, like a 33% shooter. And that's because he's made improvements. He is not a shooter. Draymond has been awful from three. And that's playing on the Warriors where he gets the spacing, right? Because where Steph and Clay launch from, not all threes are created equal. It gives the defense has to rotate from farther away. So Dre has more time. And even with that, well, you know, dude shooting under 30% you, you know, from three. You, had one or two seasons. What, 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 what Wiseman's all? not a shooter. Pascal is not a shooter. Show me where the shooting comes. You need. I am you so need fascinated by you. Of, of I, 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 I'm so fascinated. I'm, I'm, I'm so fascinated by you talking to basketball people like you know more than us. We watch the games. We know what the hell you're talking about. But in the end, when you look at the Western Conference, you not just look at the team we're talking about here. We got to look at some of the other teams and what they're expected to do or not expected to do. Portland was a question mark. They came on strong in the bubble. Before the bubble, they weren't qualifying for the playoffs. Memphis was a question mark. We understand that. New Orleans was a question mark. They could be on the come up. I'm saying take into account coaching. Take into account experience. Take into account marksmanship. The bottom line is Andrew Wiggins was no scrub. If Jimmy Butler can join Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins and turn them into a playoff team from a perennial lottery team, I think a healthy Steph Curry in that system being coached by Steve Kerr, shooting the ball the way that he can shoot. With Draymond not looking for him to shoot, but defend, rebound, pushing the ball up the floor, creating playmaking opportunities for other guys, finally having a post presence because it damn sure wasn't Ja Ja Pajulia or Andrew Bogut from years ago. You take all of those things into consideration. I'm talking about potentially squeezing in to a playoff. To a playoff. That's all I'm talking about here. We're there out of the championship equation. We get all of that. But can we definitively, definitively look here and go like this? All of those teams I mentioned, you know for beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're going to step up and produce better than Golden State. Can we definitively say the that? Wiseman's the right choice, Stephen A.? So you're but saying wait, 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 I think right so, absolutely. Steve, Stephen A. You, I think so, yes. You, yes. Stephen A., you said Andrew, you said Andrew Bogut, but didn't Andrew Bogut win a, a world championship with the Golden State Warriors? No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. I'm not knocking Bogut. Post? Hold on, Jay. Jay, Jay. I'm not knocking Bogut. I'm talking about offensively. He was not a presence. I know. Wiseman will be a presence in the low post offensively. I know that Bogut was great defensively as a rim protector. I, I, all I'm saying, Stephen A., is like <laughs> Wiseman's not going to be a guy that you throw the ball to on the block and say, hey, go get me 20. He's going to be utilized in the continuity system that Steve Kerr has, which means he's going to be on the perimeter. And I guess it leads to a lot of questions, right? How do you play Draymond Green and Wiseman together? <laughs> I mean, because they're both kind of similar players, which is going to be interesting. And then I, I hate talking about this, but it's been factual when Clay has not been on the court is that when you don't have another playmaker to make life easy for Steph, that means that the ball has to be in Steph's hands more because he has to be that playmaker. And when I've seen the ball be in Steph's hands more, the volume increases. I typically have seen him get hurt when he's being asked to do a lot more because Clay has been able to relieve so much of that load. Yeah, but Jay, we're not, Jay, listen, th forgive me. Of course, if guys get hurt, that changes it. We 
can't. Not, of, I'm, I'm, so, I'm saying if Steph were healthy, right now he's healthy. Of course, if he gets hurt, they change everything. All I'm saying, that's a given. But if Steph stays healthy, no, with the that, lineup but, but that they presently have, the, you, made, you almost, hold on, Max. Hold on, Max. You almost made me hold on. You, you almost made me laugh with this, Jay, and here's why. You said you can't go to Wiseman for 20 points. Well, guess what? Andrew Bogan never gave you more than seven. Can you can, can you go to Wiseman for 13? No. Can you go to him for 15, Jay? I'm no, talking about it, in single coverage because you got to pay attention. Can you do that? Stephen A., I'm going to tell you, the way Bogut was used because of his shooting ability, it made him such a threat because he could shoot the ball, and it put him in a lot of PNRs, Ooh. and it really caused the defense to have issues when you guard all the things that Klay Thompson and Steph did off the ball with uh, Bogut in his pick due to his perimeter shooting to a degree. It was a threat. And Bogut? I don't think James Wiseman Look, has to learn how to shoot Dr the ball. Draymond Green. Draymond, Draymond Green was always he Steph's pick and roll partner. I always player? thought until KD got there, actually the second most important player on the team because of that. And whether or not Wiseman can also do that, I ask you again, Stephen A., I'm not questioning that they have talent. They have talent. Where does the shooting come from? I don't care how different you play. You must have a base level of shooting or else you're counting by twos. Where does it come from? Well, Who let me have, answer that. have to make a move, right? Let, let, let me answer to. that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. The fact of the matter is, is that if you have a marksman who is so lethal that he draws attention, he creates open shots, and dudes who usually can't shoot find a way to shoot just a tad bit better because they're wide open. It happens. It couldn't Why happen last year with Steph three, and Clay both gone, but recently. with a guy on the court, it could create shooting opportunities for other people. Good enough for them to win no, no, during the regular season before this. going home in the first round of the playoffs. We just, we just saw this with Steph and Clay. Dre stopped being able to shoot the three. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.